We are in Rome, Italy. Our first stop in Rome is the Trevi Fountain, the biggest fountain in Rome and one of the most famous fountains in the world. It even appeared in many different movies. It is said that about 3,000 euros are thrown in the fountain every day. That's crazy! Our next stop of the day is the Pantheon, which is now a Catholic church, but used to be a Roman temple. What's really cool about the Pantheon is that its dome has a central opening to the sky. The Pantheon is also home to tombs of many famous people, including the first two kings of Italy and the queen of Italy, Margherita di Savoia. The tomb of the famous painter Raphael is also here. We went even higher and climbed more stairs and you can see Rome. We're also gonna go there, Piazza Venezia. And that right there is the Tevere River. We're in the highest point of the castle and you can see everything from here. We're now walking to the Basilica of St. Peter. It's really warm, so. Here we are. There's like no one here. Well, because of the coronavirus. We officially arrived in Vatican City. The Pope usually talks from one of those windows. So we're in Vatican City and we're about to enter the Basilica of St. Peter. You can't show your shoulders or you can't wear shorts. So I'm wearing my mom's dress. <laughs> yeah. Here are the Swiss guards who protect the Pope and the Apostolic Palace. Ok, 
Okay, I bought a gelato for only two euros and fifty cents. It's really big and super good. I got different flavors like chocolate and vanilla with bits of chocolate in it. It's really good. I'm really happy. Woo! Mm. Buongiorno everyone! So today is day two of our week in Rome. Yesterday we walked 15 kilometers, which is like nine miles, and my feet started hurting. So right now we're in Vatican City already, and today we're gonna see the Sistine Chapel. Yeah! Sistine Chapel, it's incredible. Yo, 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 Michelangelo. <laughs> So right now I'm outside and I'm taking a break. You couldn't take pictures in the Sistine Chapel. Also, I'm still, I'm in my mom's dress again because you know, you can't show shorts. We are now in Piazza Navona. It's one of the main squares in Rome and there's usually a lot of people, but well, since there's the coronavirus, there's not too many. Here you go, there's a lot of like cafes and it's really pretty, like these orange buildings that everyone likes to take pictures in front of and then these fountains. We waited outside of Palazzo Chigi, home of the Italian government, the Italian Republic, and we met Matteo Salvini, who is a political leader. We also met Giuseppe Conte, who is the ex-prime minister. Buongiorno, today is the next day. We're gonna go see the Colosseum and we're gonna go inside the Colosseum and then we're gonna go see other like old antique things. The Traiano Market and then the Fori Romani. These are the Fori Traiani. So it's the old Roman structures. We're right in front of the Colosseum. I'm so excited. 
Woo! This is where the Romans used to hang out. So like, instead of going to watch a football game, they came here to watch gladiators fight for their lives with like animals. Gladiators had to fight against tigers and lions, like wild animals. So this was like an arena and this was for entertainment, the Romans entertainment. We're done with the Colosseum and now I'm walking through the ancient ruins of Rome. So we're on top of Campidoglio and we got up for free because I'm a minor and she's a teacher so that's really good. Woo! Woo! We're right next to the horses and the angel things. <laughs> We didn't even know we could come this high and we're like higher than the Colosseum, higher than everything. It's incredible. That's where Mussolini did his speech. So today is the last day and we're not going to stay here the whole day. We're going to leave around like 3 o'clock and we kind of did see some things. I'll put in some clips of what we saw. We're in front of San Giovanni in Laterano. It's a huge basilica. It's the most important basilica in the world, even more important than St. Peter. Inside, there's the heads of St. Peter and St. Paul. That's really cool. And this is a territory of Vatican City.
the Via Appia. It was the ancient Roman street. It was the main street. And it's really cool that we can walk on it today. We were headed home, but our car broke down, so we had to go get it fixed. Then we took a taxi to the airport in Rome to get a rental car. This is like the typical Fiat. Fiat. 